Here are the top 10 things that scientists have discovered about black holes. Let me know in the comments if there's one or two that you didn't know. Number one, a gravitational singularity. Black holes are regions in space where the gravitational pull is so intense that it creates a singularity. A singularity is a point of infinite density at the center. Event horizon. Black holes have an event horizon. This is also known as the point of no return. The point of no and that's because once you cross that point, the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing can escape it, not even light. Number three, formation. Many black holes, known as stellar black holes, form through the death of a star. Black holes can form from the remnants of massive stars that undergo gravitational collapse, which concentrates their mass into a tiny, tiny space. Number four, the size and mass of a black hole. Black holes come in different sizes, ranging from stellar mass black holes, which are relatively smaller, like the one we just mentioned, to supermassive black holes found at the centers of galaxies, with masses that are millions to billions times that of our sun. Number five, curvature of space-time. Black holes curve space-time dramatically, causing time dilation and gravitational lensing, which is the bending of light around them. Time dilation, meaning that time will either be faster or slower around a black hole compared to, say, here on Earth. Gravity on that planet will slow our clock compared to Earth's drastically. Well, how bad? Well, every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. Well, that's relativity, folks. Number six, Hawking radiation. Proposed by Stephen Hawking, black holes can emit a faint radiation due to quantum effects near the event horizon, causing them to slowly lose mass and eventually evaporate. This is a big thing where the no boundary proposal comes in. This is also where the idea around white holes come in, which is the opposite of a black hole, where if black holes pull everything in, white holes emit everything out. And then this also could lead to the potential of a wormhole, uh, which it has been found through calculations, especially in Einstein's theory of general relativity. But maybe it's just a matter of time before we actually find one. Number seven, the no-hair theorem. The no-hair theorem suggests that black holes can be described by just three properties, mass, charge, and angular momentum, regardless of how they were formed. The term was coined by physicist John A. Wheeler, and the metaphor comes from the idea that just as a person's hair can be various lengths, styles, and colors, the details of a black hole's formation or history could potentially be encoded in additional attributes. Once a black hole forms, any initial differences in its formation process tend to disappear, leaving only three primary properties, mass, charge, and angular momentum. In essence, the theorem implies that black holes are remarkably simple in terms of the information they carry, which led to the comparison with a bald object that lacks the complex features that might have been anticipated with, say, having hair. Number eight, accretion disks. Surrounding some black holes is an accretion disk, a swirling flattened disk of gas and dust that heats up and emits energy radiation before being consumed by the black hole. Number nine, jet formation. Black holes can launch powerful jets of particles at nearly the speed of light. Often observed in systems where a black hole is consuming material from a companion star. Number 10, galactic evolution. Supermassive black holes found at the centers of galaxies play a crucial role in galactic evolution, influencing star formation, gas dynamics, and the growth of galaxies over cosmic time. These discoveries have unveiled the fascinating and complex nature of black holes, leading to new insights into the fundamental laws of physics and the nature of space-time itself. I hope you enjoyed this little segment on black holes, and if you want to learn a little bit more about space stuff, follow Astro Athens.